Clay Travis is the founder of Outkick. Can you explain the rewrite to me, Clay? I can't at all, other than to say that everybody needs to go grab paper copies of their favorite books because who knows what's going to come next. I mean, I thought you laid it out well. And we got to, I think, get every author out there. Think about how awful this is. You work your entire life to write books. You die. And then people go and change the words that you published after you're dead to change the potential meaning of some of your works. This is madness, and I think it's significant. But here's a point, Jesse. I wouldn't have ever believed this. Whoopi Goldberg on The View actually had a great take on this. I want to give Whoopi credit. Oh, boy. And when you end up with Whoopi Goldberg, Clay Travis, and Jesse Waters all on the same side of an issue, you're screwing up pretty big, right? <laughs> uh, and that's where we are. Anyone who reads, we want the historical and literary context of the work in which we are reading to reflect the time it was written. That's how we build literature. This is terrifying. This is scary. This censorship can't stand. So every book, if you open it up and you can see when it was published, and if you see a spy novel published in the 1950s, you know maybe they have some outdated references or some caricatures in there that maybe were good with the times that aren't good with today. Do they think that we're not sophisticated enough to understand this? Are we being treated like children? I, are they going to have to rewrite the books to make it clear that the internet didn't exist in the 1950s when James Bond was 007? You know, <laughs> that there was uh, no information superhighway? I mean, I'm joking about this, but, you know, when you read a book about, for instance, they've done this to Laura Ingalls Wilder, too, the, the descriptions of what she experienced on the plains and her concerns about Native Americans were very real and reflected the time in which she was writing. Cleaning it up for 2020 is pure madness, it's indefensible, it's historically inaccurate, and it's anti-free expression. Well, in 50 years, if they touch one single sentence in How I Save the World, <laughs> I might be long gone, but I will be rolling in my grave. Clay? Jesse, you're a pleasure. young man. You'll still be alive. Yeah, maybe not. I'll see you later. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.